Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So late on Friday, on the 26th of July in my region, Microsoft also rolled out a brand new beta channel inside a Bolt. 22635.4000, and that was made available with the update, KB5040546. Now, first of all, as to what's new, uh, Microsoft say they are beginning to try out showing jump lists when you hover your mouse cursor over apps on the taskbar that have jump lists and are inactive. And I have posted on this previously, and I'll leave a video posted on that down below and in the end screen if you'd like more info, because currently, as you may well know, um, in the stable version, you have to right-click, and then you get your jump lists as an example, where the new experience will be, you'll just hover over it and you'll see the jump list. So go check that video out if you'd like more info. And then for voice access, they're also making improvements for the spelling and corrections experience in voice access. And then the so-called new feature I want to focus on today for the purpose of this video is regarding the widgets, where Microsoft say they are rolling out an update to the widgets board to improve security and the APRs for creating widgets and feeds for users in EEA regions. So this is only for users in the EEA region, so just take note of that. They mentioned that as part of this update, the Microsoft Start Experiences app will power the Microsoft Start widget and feed experiences. Also, as part of this update, some existing widgets will be removed and others will be modified temporarily, affecting their functionality. This update sets the foundation for new widgets and other features in development set to roll out soon. Now, that's the, the, the little piece I want to focus on, set to roll out soon um, for new widgets and other features. And that's because that hasn't rolled out yet. And as spotted by Phantom of Earth once again over on X, here are some of those improvements. And the first is that this is a hidden feature, spotted by Phantom of Earth on X, as mentioned. And it seems that Microsoft is rebuilding some of the parts of the widgets board with WinUR3. And currently, um, as you may well know, the widgets board uses Edge WebView, which can be a little bit clunky and a little bit slow and doesn't give us the best performance. So I actually think this is a nice move in the right direction. And if we just focus on the next image, there we can see some of those WinUR3 improvements. And then the last image, here we can see that um, Microsoft has removed a lot of widgets from the widget uh, picker here, picker widget to the left-hand side, because what's happening now with widgets um, that's in development is you can visit the Microsoft Store to download them. And as mentioned, this change is only for those users um, who found them, themselves in Europe in the EEA regions and areas, so just take note of that. So it seems like Microsoft is rebuilding the widget board um, from, the, from the, the bottom up, which I think is a nice move because, as mentioned, currently it's a little bit clunky and is a little bit, um, you know, it kind of does its own thing. So I think this might bring a nice move uh, in the right direction. And as mentioned previously, we also get this widget kind of strip here to the left, which is not available in stable yet, where you will have your custom feed and your widgets, which is not available in stable. So I think this is a, a, a step in the right direction because, as mentioned, Widgets in stable, not the best experience out there. So upgrading that with WinUR3, um, I think, would be a step at least in the right direction. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.